One of the most worrisome problems facing Americans these days is the cost of health care and the rate at which it has increased. 24 years ago, the total cost of medical care was $12 billion a year. By this year, the cost will reach $100 billion a year. Most of the negotiating probably will center on the health insurance plan proposed by two important Democrats, Congressman Wilbur Mills and Senator Edward Kennedy. The Nixon plan is voluntary. This means some poorer and younger people may choose not to join. Much of the insurance will be financed through company plans, with employers paying 75% of the cost and workers 25%. Each family would have to pay deductibles on medical bills, just as in car insurance, up to $450 a year. In major illness, once bills hit $1,500, insurance would pay all other bills. With Mills Kennedy, coverage is compulsory. Through Social Security taxes, employers pay 75% of the cost and workers 25%. Deductibles are limited to $300 a family. In major illness, after $1,000 in bills, insurance takes over. Under Mills Kennedy, the federal government manages much of the program with private insurance companies playing less of a role. It is on this point that the two sides could lock horns. The administration plan would channel as much as $37 billion through private health plans like Blue Cross. The administration says it will not compromise on private management. While these two plans cost a lot, they don't give full medical coverage. The plan that does that is the one proposed by the National Committee for Health Insurance. This plan would pay for virtually all illnesses. It would cost over $80 billion and would be financed by corporate and payroll taxes. It's supported by all the major unions. The American people have shown repeatedly through polls that they insist health care has to be a matter of right. The only way that can be done is through a universal system. And compromises that throw away universality are just unacceptable. We prefer to see nothing come out of this Congress than get that kind of compromise. A lot of differences, some of them very big, still have to be worked out. But the feeling is that the hearings on health, which started today, will end with passage of a national health insurance plan, either late this year, but certainly no later than next year.